Hello everyone, this is Sari, your Socially Awkward Seller. And uh, in case you didn't notice, I changed my channel name to Socially Awkward Sarah. Um, I wanted to mention it just briefly because um, so that I could bring a little more content to the channel, I think I'm just going to include some of the stuff that I do and we've had this discussion before. You know how I am about follow through. Anyway, uh, but I thought I would be able to bring other things. Who knows? Who knows what I'd do? Um, wanted to bring you a little video on this wonderful, beautiful Tuesday morning with the bad lighting. I love some bad lighting. Well, you know, you, I'm, I should be thankful for the shadows because they hide the wrinkles. Anyway, um, I've had some decent sales this weekend. Uh, not bad. And I thought I would share those. And then yesterday, I went to Valley Thrift, and they had their 50% off sale. Actually, I hit two of them. It was kind of nuts, a little bit. Um, but I did pick up a few items, quite a few items. But um, didn't spend as much as I normally would. And uh, did not find a lot of the, you know, the big appliances to break down. But I did find some other things. So I'll share those with you a little later um, when I get back home. So first thing I wanted to show you today is I picked up this, um, it's a cast iron grenade paperweight and, uh, it is hollow. Um, and, um, I paid a dollar, I think for this at a thrift store. Um, it sold for $18. Uh, this is salt and pants. I think I paid like 50 cents for this as well. It's a salt and pepper shaker and um, I got an offer of $12 and I took that. And then these are not very clear, um, but they are these little pierced brass um, or hammered brass uh, ladies, like Victorian ladies. They're wall hangings. There's two of them, very light. Um, and I didn't pay much for these either. I, I either paid a dollar or around about there. These sold for $20. I sold two individual sets of these. Uh, one I sent an offer out. Um, this is, these are from video games, uh, bottle opener and an air freshener. And, um, these sold for seven dollars and these sold for eight dollars and nine cents i have two sets of them left and i remember i paid almost nothing for them i've had them for a long time i've probably had them for going on two years uh but i'm finally for some reason they just started selling again and it may be because another version of that game has just come out i don't know i don't keep up with it but um yeah it could be that that's happened and that's why they're selling again remember this thing with the coat rack, with the, what the hell is this? Um, the Ashley Black Big Daddy Fascia Blaster. Um, the massager did take it a couple of weeks to sell. Um, I will give you a little piece of advice because that's why I'm here, is really to help you with your reselling game. If you don't list it, it will not sell. I'm just... I know a lot of people don't think of that, but I'm just throwing that out there for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, once I did list it, it only took like two weeks, I think, for this to sell. And it sold for $67.49. Isn't that the most in insane thing you've ever heard for a piece of plastic? Oh my God. Um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to ship this. I think it's going to be over a pound. So I might just put it in one of those long triangle boxes that you can get. That's priority. Um probably what I'm going to do, but who knows what I do, right? You know me. Um, I sold this little doohickey. I don't think I paid much for this either. Do I ever pay much for anything? Not really, usually. Um, it's got this wood pestle. Um, it is one of those vintage aluminum sieves. Uh, people use these basically to make purees or juice or whatever. Um, and a lot of people like to do it the old-fashioned way, and they don't want to run it through a food processor or an automatic or an electric kind of device. They want to use something like this because that's what their grandmother used. Um, but anyway, uh, I had this listed for $25. It was on sale for $22 and change, um, and I got an offer of $15, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to take it. Take it! 
Uh, I had a lady, I've had these for a long time. They were free. And uh, I had a lady offer me $20 or $10 each for the two black ones. And um, she sent me a message and said, can you combine shipping and how much do you want for that pink one? And I said, you know what, if you'll just pay the shipping the way it is, because uh, I always add a, add a couple extra ounces to my first class, um, I will just throw it in. So I am throwing that in. These sold for $20 plus shipping. Let's see, what else is there? There's a couple more things. Um, this is from Sears. Um, and this is from the 70s. I, I think from uh, 70 or 76. I, cannot, I can't remember. Um, I had this for a while. I paid a couple of bucks for it. And it sold for $29 and change plus shipping. And that he's called Neil, Neil the Frog, I think. Who knows? It's probably in that listing there. Um, this is something I bought at um, a St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, I like to pick up linens now. Um, actually, I have to admit they sell, and if you don't get too hung up on the photos, um, and you know, there's something that has a tag in them so you know what brand, what size, all that, much, much easier to sell than I've traditionally thought or thought in the past. But anyway, this is an Eddie Bauer pillow sham. Um, and there were two of these and a full size duvet cover. Uh, I think I only gave like six or eight dollars for this, I think. Um, but anyway, it sold for $44.99 and it did not take that all that long to sell. Um, uh, and then the last thing is this uh party light. This is the Stratus line, and it's this line of uh, glass layers like this. These are just slices of glass that are fused together. Um, and this one holds five tea lights. Um, I had this for quite a while. There was a Star of David one that I bought about the same time. It sold pretty quickly. This one, however, has been hanging around for a while. Uh, I got an offer of $20. I took it. So I'm going to wrap this up and get it sold or get it shipped. It's already sold. Dear. Anyway, um, so those are my sales this weekend. Um, not a ton of them, but not, not too bad. I mean, some decent money. Um, and I'm like, I, I like seeing those things, um, disappear that, you know, I've been around for a while. So anyway, um, uh, I wanted to ask any of you if you can give me some advice and I know the light is terrible. These are plaster lamps. I wanted you to see the detail in them to see if you can give me, again, these are pretty the lighting in here is not very good. Uh, give me any advice on keywords. Um, here is, yeah, that's great. Isn't that great? That's great. Um, this is the, the way the fixture looks. And here's plug. Yeah, man, could the lighting be any worse? Um, but anyway, uh, it's got a felted bottom. Um, again, plaster. They do have some bumps and bruises on them, um, but I just thought they were really cool. I paid $10 a piece for them. I have a pair at auction. They are very heavy. Um, what do you, what can you tell me about them? I am kind of torn between like what the, um, what the time period is on those. I don't know if it's, 60s. I don't know if it's 40s. I don't know if it's 70s. I don't know. So any advice that you can give me, I would certainly appreciate. All right, I'm going to get the shipping done. Uh, I got a grocery pick, to, pick up to do and then um, like, you know, so I didn't have to shop. I just did the grocery thing. Anyway, Jessica did it. Um, so anyway, and then I'm going to go back to the house, ship this stuff, put the labels on it and then show you what I bought yesterday. Um, yeah, so stick around. I'll be back, most likely. Isn't that the line from Terminator? I'll be back, most likely. Most likely. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Stick around. Okay. I'm back with you. I am just sitting in the floor. Um, one of these days, I'll actually have a setup, but not today, Satan. Not today. Oh, I don't think he has anything to do with that. Um, 
so I thought I'd just run through the things that I bought. Um, there were a couple of things I paid more than, you know, I'm a cheapskate. I'm really a cheapskate. Yeah. Um, but uh, that I paid a little more for because I just know I can get money back out of them, which is the whole point, they tell me, of reselling is to actually make money. One of these days, maybe I will. So, I bought this bag of parts, and these are not all parts that go together. It was $7.50 because it was a 50% off sale. Uh, and I was going to put this back uh, because I'm like, I don't know if I want to try, sorry about that noise, uh, if I want to try and figure this out or not. Because I have done that in the past. Uh, you know, been very willing to buy things that I'd have to research, but I have so much inventory right now that I don't need things that are going to take me a lot of time to get through. So, um, I bought this one because it told me it was a Hamilton beach somewhere on here. Oh, it's on the, uh, actually on the picture. And uh, so this part and the scraper part go to a Hamilton Beach. Also, the lid is in here. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can get my uh, money back on those couple of pieces. Um, no idea what this goes to, but... It's like those little Matryoshka dolls. Uh, I feel so weak. Anyway, uh, it looks like it comes off. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, um, I don't know exactly what this goes to, but I will figure it out. Um, and then this looks like it's for an oster. which I think is what it's for. Um, and it's got blades and the continuous feed disc. I don't know what this one is for. Oh, it's a Cuisinart. They, this, this might be Cuisinart too. Anyway, um, so I should do okay on this stuff. Uh, I'll have to check. Maybe this, this, this might be for the Cuisinart too. Anyway, so, you know, boring parts. Um, but let's just jump into this. So this is made by Kirby. I paid a dollar for this. And it is um, accessories for the handy butler. Uh, and basically this is like a buffer um, and a few other things. I'm saying that because I don't know. Oh, there's a, like a grinder wheel and stuff. So um, yeah. I figured this probably would sell for ten or fifteen dollars, so it was worth a dollar investment. And then I bought um, this bag of doorknobs. I know it's ridiculous, and the burnished burnished brass look is not really in. Um, I paid two dollars for this bag. There are, I think, four complete um, doorknobs in it, and. Uh, I should be able to sell these for, I don't know, $20 or something like that. Um, not everybody is is looking for whatever the hot new thing is. They just want to replace the old one that they have. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to sell these. These are all, I think, these are all interior. Yeah, these are all interior door knobs. Um, plus, they've got the strike plate and uh, the guts and all that. So, should do okay with that. I picked these up because they, they're they $4 for these. These are Sakura um, William Kimball plates, uh, and they have these roosters on, on them. Uh, they're different colors. There's green, blue, red, and then this brown wood grain look. These will sell for about $18 to $20. Um, I picked this bag up. It was 3 bucks. And most of the stuff in here, you see now, isn't worth anything. And actually, I was hoping that this was a full bottle of Karanique. 
but I don't think it is. So this could just be a waste of money unless this um, Dermatologica is worth something, which I doubt it is. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, the other stuff in it is just kind of like Dollar Tree stuff. You know, with the weight of the other things, I couldn't tell if that... Uh, that's Jessica's. If the weight of that was... This must be Jessica's too, but isn't that cute? Little uh, vintage cross stitch. I couldn't tell if the bag was... Not the bag. I'll stop talking now. If the bottle was full or not. Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, I picked up this bag of vintage, again, burnished brass uh, drawer pulls. And I'm not really sure what this is. I don't know. Um, but, and it may just be some random thing thrown in here, some plumbing thing. But there's probably about six or eight of these. And I paid $2 for those. And I do okay on drawer pulls. I don't sell all of them that I buy. I have some that are kind of sitting around. Um, and I sell them differently when I do sell them. Sometimes I just sell them all as one big lot. Sometimes I will sell them in lots of like four or six. Just depends on how I feel that day. So I bought this bag of ashtrays for two dollars and fifty cents um this one's a little damaged like the uh the the stuff is coming off the bottom but i thought it was really cute um here is like a vintage ramada hotel remember back in the day they used to well some of you are probably too young to remember they used to have ashtrays you could smoke in your hotel room um i don't know what this one is for but it's kind of got this roman soldier this is Sparta kind of looking dude on it. And it has that sort of mercury glass look. This might be actually a coaster. It's glass, but it might be a coaster and not an ashtray. Because typically an ashtray will have the slots for the cigarette. This is an old Comfort Inn ashtray. And it may end up lotting some of these together. Um, and then just a couple of... This one's chipped of boring ashtrays. Your standard uh, amber glass one, so. Can I make any more noise? I don't know, I'll try. Uh, I paid a dollar for this bag of cords. And uh, these look like a percolator type cords. There are three of them in this bag. This is like a six foot, uh, like to a, an old electric skillet, but probably a, um, probably a percolator. And sometimes they will have a model number. This one's just a short one. This one is also a short one, but I'll get a couple of bucks out of those. Um, I know that if they're in good condition, those are like original plugs. I just have to figure out what they are. I picked this up, just a bag of garbage, for $1.50. Do you ever buy a bag of garbage? I love bags of garbage. Um, remember these? These little creamer containers that used to be on tables at diners, you know, back in the day when uh, we were allowed to have condiments on the table. Um, this probably is not worth a thing. Uh, and I didn't buy it for this. Uh, there is this Pampered Chef. I don't know what. I think this might be a pasta measure. And a measuring cup or something. Um, that might get me a couple of bucks. I'm, I'm not going to hold out too much hope. And then this is um, a meat tenderizer. And it's not branded, but it's new. I actually bought it for, for this. Uh, at first, I thought this was a, a like a little pressure cooker or a pot, um, like mo model. 
um, you know, or something like that. But I actually think it is a tea, something to do with tea. Like you would set this over the cup and pour hot water through this and it does hold the grounds, the tea leaves. So that's what I think. Um, sometimes I get in trouble with these bags and shouldn't buy all that stuff. But, uh, some more little cross stitchy things. These must have been in a bag that Jessica bought because I don't recognize them. Um, here, if I want to make a little turkey, I can. I, I don't, but here are some Father's Day little um, so like little Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm sure you paint these picture frames. Um, I picked these up. Don't know what, you know, the the deal. Sometimes I just buy things. These are like dot matrix printer labels. And I paid a dollar for this box. Um, may not It may not be worth anything as for what it is, but I can always use those to label like flatware bags and um, I use it to label, I can use them to label uh, appliance parts. So, because once you get so many process, food processor bowls together, they start looking like the same bowl. So I try to label all of that stuff. Pick this up for $2.50. More of the drawer pulls. These are really pretty. And actually, they look brand new. Um, there are five of these in this bag. And I am hoping that they will do all right for me. All right, all right, all right. Picked up... Um, these were a dollar for all of them because they were 49 cents and they were half off. Uh, these are some die cut paisley, very like 90s colors um, wallpaper border. Oh, they're not all 49 cents. Oh, you know what? I think this one, I think these three might have been together for 69 cents and this one for 49 cents. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. I uh, bought this little cross stitch and it's wackadoodled inside. So it's not not worth anything. I didn't check it. And it is just tore up from the floor up. And won't be worth anything. So And now I can't get that shut because I'm kind of stupid sometimes. Um, let's see. I paid a dollar for this and it is a brand new Cutco knife uh, rack that you can either hang on the wall or put in a drawer. Uh, these don't sell for a lot, but I think I can get about 18 bucks for it. God, how many times am I going to say these don't sell for a lot? Depends on what you consider a lot to be, I guess. Um, I bought this bag of foam, not foam cases, uh, eyeglass cases. Um, it had this Kate Spade one in it. I paid $4 for this bag. Um, but the Kate Spade one is dirty and whacked on the inside, so it's pretty much useless. This one is a foam, uh, an eyeglass case called Deviations. I've never heard of it. I might be able to get my money back on this large Michael Kors um, sunglasses case. Maybe. We'll see. I picked this up just because it was so stinking cute. Paid a dollar fifty for this, and it is a um, pillow cover. And it says, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us, which is a Ralph Waldo, Waldo Emerson um, quote. Speaking of writers, um, I saw Mr. Wendell Berry at the uh, post office this morning, and he is like a, a somewhat, somewhat famous um, poet. Uh, but he's a local writer, and he does have things that are published. And I think I mentioned the other day that 
um, I was just watching an episode of like Law and Order, and they one of the attorneys quoted him, um, which is kind of cool. And the next time I see him, I'm gonna ask him, you know, did they, <clears throat> does he know about that? Like, because I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, Paper Chef, um, cookie press. God love me, I got no memory. Uh, for a two dollars and fifty cents. Had the discs not been with us, I would not have paid that much for it. But I will sell the discs for about six or eight bucks. The uh, barrel will sell for about eight bucks. The, and the cap will sell for about five bucks. Um, I don't sell the, the triggers as, as often because it's just not a part that gets broken or lost. Um, but I have sold it. <clears throat> I picked this up. Uh, I think this came from like Home Depot or something. Uh, $3 for all of this, and it is kind of a jungle theme cheetah um, wallpaper borders. Five of those. And I bought this bag of stuff for $2. Love my bags of stuff. All right, so these are... A set of six coasters, and they say Ainsley, England, established 1775, I think. But um, that's upside down. Uh, really cute, very lovely uh, wildflower bouquet on the front of that. And uh, they have the cork back, you know, like the big um, placemats. So I think these are probably... I want to say 80s, but they may be later than that. They could be much later than that. What do I know? These are from Carson. And uh, I think it's sold. There, Carson is sold in like gift, sh gift shops. But these say faith, family, and friends. Uh, little trinket dishes. I'll probably sell these together for, you know, a couple of bucks. Not very exciting. Um, these are just some paper coasters um they kind of remind me of like pottery barn but i don't know if that's what they are they could be ikea they could be <clears throat> um lots of other things this is a cellular one um ceramic tile coaster and i don't know that they make like cellular one is still around so i may actually be able to squeeze a few bucks out of that um just a paper coaster and then this is a false graph um, ceramic uh, outlet cover in the nature wood pattern. And uh, that'll get me about eight or ten bucks. And then these little picture frames, they're from Russ. Um, they're not really worth anything. I picked this up. I paid $3.50 for it. I'm going to have to clean these up. And it is missing one of the hanging. Um, it's got these rings on the back for hanging. It is missing one of those. <clears throat> I'll just disclose that. These seagulls, um, they can sell for like 30 bucks for this. Uh, maybe a little more. Uh, but I am going to clean this up eventually. And uh, get that listed. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, another lot of eyeglasses case. I paid a dollar fifty for these. Sometimes to make myself better, feel better when I make a poor purchase like that Michael Kors Kate Spade thing, uh, I'll put these two lots together and kind of average them in my head, and that'll make me feel better. I don't know why. Uh, these are Flexon. Um, this is a Flexon eyeglasses case. I don't know that that will be worth anything, but it's kind of cool looking. This one is Prada. This is like a little Prada gift box. I can probably squeeze out a couple of bucks for that. And this is an Anne Klein um, eyeglass sunglasses case. Maybe a couple of bucks, but I doubt it. I think that'll probably take a long time to sell. <clears throat> uh, this is a bag of new drawer pulls, uh, like the handles and knobs. These are in like a, 
um, a brushed nickel. And I paid $6.50 for those. I should do okay. It sounds feels like there's quite a few in there. Uh, I, I found one of these again. Um, this one is a Paul Murray Goose. Um, you can tell his because it's got kind of this sharper beak. Uh, it, I mean, it doesn't really add that much to it. But um, I'm going to list this one for about 30 bucks. Uh, they have kindly attached the screws to the back. It does have a little chip on the corner, but that feels like it's pre-glazed, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Again, I don't know who buys that stuff, but some, some people do. I um, picked up another one of these for a dollar because I've got that other one to list, and, um, uh, you know, it'll just be in another quantity for that listing and <clears throat> that's not a bad thing uh, I picked up this uh, perpetual calendar this one's kind of cool it's got this little drawer at the bottom for our door and you can I think probably put the stuff you're not using in there um, it did have something attached right there but I don't know what um, this one almost looks like it's like homemade just because the the way the letters are written on it and they're not they're written on the uh, they're written on the blocks too not very well done but it should still get me um, quite a few dollars. Oh, here's a Rolex spoon. Let's see that. Like a, like a souvenir spoon. Uh, it says, Buescher of Switzerland. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Lucerne. And it's just this little I don't know if it's a stainless steel or what that is. Anyway, uh, this little souvenir spoon, probably not worth much. I said it again. Oops, I said it again. Anyway, um, yeah, my $2 investment there will be fine. And somebody might want to take that one and just completely rehab it to um, what they want. And, um, I may, so I may not charge as much for that one, um, because it's kind of, it's not very good quality. Anyway, uh, I picked up this lot of flatware. This is probably one of the, I would say the two or three best items that I picked up yesterday. I paid $7.50 for this bag, and these are, uh, Oneida Community, and they're in the... Not Patrick Henry. I'm trying to think which pattern it is. It's like federal, maybe. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hold on. Just bear with me because you, you'll want to know what this pattern is. No. Yes. No. No. Uh, community. Paul Revere. I don't know why I can't remember it's Paul Revere. I always think it's Patrick Henry. It's not. Um, I've got quite a few pieces. I think there's about somewhere roughly in the $150 to $200 uh, worth of fat on this bone, um, just depending on how I break it up. So, uh, but I, if I'm not mistaken, which I frequently am, um, I think like four spoons sold for 30 something dollars for like teaspoons. So that should do pretty well for me. Um, I picked this up. This is teamy. You know, have you ever heard beer me? Well, this one's teamy and it's got this cute, like cosmetic, uh, motif at the bottom. Uh, it does have the tea ball and all that stuff in there. Um, 
T-ball. <laughs> anyway. Um. There we go. But it looks like it's complete. It also looks like it's not been used. Uh, I paid $2 for it, and I think I can get about 15 out of this little tumbler. Um, oh. So, Jessica bought this bag of stuff that had this in it. Or she bought it for me. I can't remember. There was something in the bag that I really wanted. Um, but these things were in the bag and I didn't even know it. Look at this. This is a vintage um, sew-on patch from Kmart from back in the day. Made in the United States. Probably from, I would say, the late 80s. Um, video Arcade Queen. And look at those graphics. Oh my. Um, but there's a little tag on the back of it. And I just thought that, that was adorable. And then these are some scratch and sniff iron, ironables. Um, 3M micro fragrance, fragrance. This is from 1984. Look at these little guys. These remind me of Louis the Lightning Bug, which I don't know. You probably don't know who Louis the Lightning Bug is. Um, but here in like Louisville, hence Louis, uh, he was like a mascot for a public safety message about what to do if you see down power lines and that kind of thing. A cute little cartoon that used to come on like on Saturday mornings, like a, just a commercial, but, but cute still nonetheless. Um, I picked these up for $2. These are, uh, General Electric. HID uh, lamp igniters. I figured there's there's like four or five of them in there. They are um, new in their package. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something with that. I paid a dollar for this. Um, this is Donna Dewberry, and these are two of her learning to learn to paint packs. Two separate ones. Uh, and I probably will lot these together because they're two different ones. They are two different ones. Um, this one is sunflowers and then this one is floral. Um, contemporary floral. And um, somebody might still, you know, that, that style is still somewhat popular. Um, so let's um, pick this up not knowing really what it was. But... It is a, this was $1.50, and it is a, um, like a, a, like a mini plate, uh, storage rack, display rack, and it's for Lena Lou, um, hummingbird plates. Uh, I think I can get about $20 for this shelf, and you know how I like to buy them even when there's nothing on them, because, you know, people break them, or they buy the plates and they don't have the thing, and, you know. I mean, I'm just here to do a service for everyone else. Um, I paid two bucks for this, and it is a lot of seven, which is an odd number, um, cross-stitch coasters, so like a DIY uh, cross-stitch coaster. That, that one is a birdhouse, but I don't know if they're all birdhouses. Looks like they might be. Oh, no, that one's a hummingbird. There's two hummingbirds and five. These are actually really pretty. And um, five little birdhouses. Um, there's a couple of different birdhouses. But uh, some little crafter will like those. Or I'll have them forever. Either way. A uh, couple more cookie presses. These are a dollar for both of those. And I will be parting those out. Pick this one up for $1.50. Um, it's got a Mero um, aluminum and copper uh, cookie press in it. And then the other stuff is just garbage, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Garbage. 
This was in a bag. Didn't know what it was. So we bought it anyway. And it is actually like a little garden flag. Um, cute, beachy. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. Uh, you know, we're not anywhere close to the beach, but it's very cute. So I'll figure out what to do with that. I may list it. I don't know. Do not know. What's this? Oh, this is a, remember the no-no uh, hair removal, shock the shit out of you. No, um, this is like laser hair removal. Um, this looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's got one of the heads that has not been used. Um, it's like a complete thing. I paid three bucks for it. I don't know if there's a market for it still, um, but... If not, I'll just separate it and sell it to parts. Uh, for $3.50, I picked up uh, hold on, a Cuisinart 7. Um, 7 cup food processor. This is not in really good shape. Uh, you know, it's got that sun damage. And I don't even know if it works, but it has accessories, and those accessories will do pretty well for me. There's a couple of blades, a bowl. The bowl looks like the base might be cracked. Um, and a lid. So, I will do fine with that. And that was the one of the other things that I thought might do really well. If that base works, I still may sell it. Then the final thing that I bought, and probably one of the things I know the least about, um, I paid $14.50 for these. And it is a, an unpainted and unfinished like bisque, ceramic bisque uh, nativity. And there's, these pieces are pretty big. <clears throat> um, I couldn't find them like listed, but of course it's a weird time of year to be looking this this up. Uh, they are not marked with like um, a mold name. I'll just do more research. I'll check Worth Point and a few other places. Um, this is one of the wise men. Uh, looks like the shepherd boy. There is the Virgin Mary. One thing that it is missing is the baby Jesus. Uh, I think this is supposed to be Joseph here. And I'm so shocked that like, as of this moment, uh, he has all of his fingers. cow it does have a little tip of its horn missing but I think that's fine yes I'm gonna show you each and every one donkey that'll do another one of the wise men um the I think I don't know I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's an alternative shepherd boy. I don't know. I got nothing. The stand-in, perhaps. I did find a camel similar to this that sold for $17, but it, I didn't realize it was much smaller than this one is. Um, so I just don't know. If you know you know, anything, anything at all about um, the unfinished ceramic market. I do not. So your input would be greatly appreciated. But again, these are not marked um, with a, a mold name. I know sometimes Holland Mold or Atlantic Mold used to mark theirs, and I don't think that these are that old. But uh, very cool. I mean, that's a l nice large camel. Nice cam. And, uh, dude, another dude. Uh, no, 
another large camel. So quite a few pieces. Um, and another duder. This is another one of the wise men. So I may have two Josephs and two shepherds. I really don't know. No. Yeah, because I've got four wise men here. No. Yes, I've got four wise men. I don't know. Stop asking me questions. Anyway, how many pieces are there? Three, six, nine, tw 13. Um, so I should do pretty well on that. Even um, if they sold for $10 a piece, that's $130 on a $14 investment. So not a bad day. So anyway, that's my haul. Um, I really need to list. I have more inventory now than I can remember having for a long, very, very long time. I usually try not to let it get so piled up. Um, so we're going to have to get some listing done. So this afternoon I'm going to try and get a, you know, at least four or five up, um, and get this mess cleaned up and get some drafts going. Cause, uh, you know, as I said earlier, if you don't list it, it will not sell. I mean, I've tried through osmosis, hoping that they would sell. They don't. So anyway, um, that's my haul. I will see you guys soon. Just remember that the dream works when you do, so keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!